So this is um, macro form limiters as our insole and this is an already made sole if you look closely you see it has a welt already so we don't need to begin to craft our insole separately before welting so we are going to use this um, already made sole to cut out our insole So as you are cutting, you cut after the line, you see it, so you cut after the line. So you can see, after the line you cut. sand the edges of the insole and then you fold your insole After that, cut off the crease at the back of the insole. After that, mark out the outline of your insole on Nora 3mm or 4mm depending on what you want to use. So in this video I'm using Nora 3mm then apply your gum on the edges. Apply gum on your weld also. Then replace the insole on the outline then you can use the nail at the back and also at the front so that the insole won't move while you are welding so you start your welding from here it's very important that you note from where you are supposed to start your welding. So the already made sole we used to mark out our insole helped us a lot because we didn't go ahead to begin to minus some inch from our insole before welding. So you just use the welded already made sole to mark out your insole and then you cut after the outline that becomes your insole automatically so at this point here you cut slightly after the edge of the first and then you bend this way so that there won't be gap in between the two edge and we 
like that we are done the next thing now is to cut off the excess and attach our heel So right now we are going to take a measurement of where we are going to place our heel and uh, we are going to measure 3 inch from the back of the sole 3 inch and then we are going to take a line on that spot so you take a line on that measurement and then sand the surface so I have attached the heel the heel is not a form limiters after that use your super glue to reinforce the weld Then get your pattern ready and the next thing is last time. If you missed the video on how to create this pattern, at the end of this particular video, we're going to be seeing the video on your screen on how to create the pattern. So just click on it, you will be directed to the video. done with the coupling so this is what we have feel free to drop your questions in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates because lots of videos are still on the way have a nice day and see you in our next video